A Dybbuk is the dislocated soul of someone who has died, which possesses a living body. In the 1975 satire, Love and Death, Woody Allen visits Diane Keaton, who is with the fishmonger to whom she is betrothed. When Allen makes a pass at Keaton, the fishmonger asks her, Did you have to bring the Dybbuk? During the reign of the Roman Emperor Vespasian, the cases of possession included his son. The ancient historian Josephus was an eyewitness to the treatment of the young boy by the exorcist Eleazar. In preparation, Eleazar first washed his hands in a basin. Then he plunged a medicinal root into hot coals, removing it when it started to smoke. Eliezer commanded the devil to leave the boy and waved the smoking root under his nostrils. When the young man inhaled, the devil flew out of him. Although the demon was invisible, it knocked over the wash basin, spilling water at the boy's feet. Knowledge of the Dybbuk has come down to our time from Jews in Eastern European countries. The Dybbuk is the soul of a dead man, a wicked man, which enters the body of a living person and refuses to leave. In the 20th century, in a small town in Poland, a rabbi married his daughter to a student of the Torah. The newlywed wife wondered how they would eat if her husband spent all his time studying. The husband said he could not do business and throw his Torah to the sea. The wife suggested they use the gold of her dowry to buy a store. She volunteered to run it all day long, except for two hours when her husband would mind the store. The rest of the day he could study. To this he agreed. Throughout the summer months, the woman kept to the schedule. Then two hours turned into four, and then into six, and eight, and more. By the following year, the man was fully engaged in business, with no time to open a book. On their first anniversary, the wife suffered choking fits and could no longer speak. They traveled to the nearest city in search of an exorcist, and they found Rabbi Mendel. Mendel diagnosed the wife was possessed by a Dybbuk. He questioned the spirit inhabiting her form. Who are you? It said it was a merchant, a man who traveled to Africa by sea. He claimed he was corrupted by business partners, and among his many transgressions, he included murder. On returning to Poland, a torrential storm sank his boat, and he perished. Since then, his tortured soul has roamed the earth. The rabbi then asked, Why have you invaded this woman? The Dybbuk first laughed, and then it answered only, She brought it on herself. Rabbi Mendel suggested the husband should return to the Torah. The husband gave his pledge to do so. The rabbi gathered a total of ten men to perform the rite of exorcism, and put the woman on a chair in the middle of the room. She began to bleed from her left hand, but then her choking stopped. One of the window panes fractured as the evil spirit departed and the woman was cured. The modern world continues to be plagued by this phenomenon. 
In 2014, a Dybbuk was suspected at nuptials in the Hamptons. The night before the wedding, the groom was treated to a bachelor party by his friends. As if possessed, he started a fight in a bar and spent three hours in jail. The next morning, everyone was texted not to tell the bride. But the girlfriend of one witness was a bridesmaid, so everyone knew the bride would find out. They had agreed to write their own vows. The bride went first. The groom had not written anything down, so he said, You were there when I was a jerk. You were there when I was sick. And when I got arrested, the night before our wedding. The bride stared at him in disbelief. She had no idea. Thank you.